of where we are on the scientific level. I think what we all know and have learned that this is a coalition very much uh, uh, embedded and based on science and I think that is really the very strong argument that this coalition have. It's really, when we talk to ministries, they are always very impressed of how much science is based on everything we're doing. And I think, Drew, what you told us, uh, one of the issues that I specifically found very important was when you, uh, when you showed the, 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 uh, the, 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 um, the first very good news we had on redu the reduction of CO2 globally. And you explained that this mainly comes from the reduction of or from the transformative from, from coal to gas in China and, 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 and US. And also you highlighted the point that we do not know about the methane leakage from this in, uh, increased gas production. So by doing so, I think you very firmly stated the interlinkage between what's going on when we're trying to have a Paris Agreement on CO2 and the extremely important work we are doing here. And I was glad also that you highlighted the extremely important work of the oil and gas methane partnership of this coalition because that is also an area where Norway is particularly uh, interested and, and do a lot of work. And that's also an issue where we have a very close relationship to the private sector and private business and where we showcase uh, uh, the interlinkage between reducing SLCPs and at the same time really enhancing profit for private sector and I think that is also a very strong story that we should tell. So that was for science and I think what we heard was also that uh, a lot of very important things going on in countries that we heard specifically yesterday when we had our high level assembly um, as mentioned from, from some of you at the panel it was a huge event, it was I think 40 ministers uh, among 100 uh, representatives talking about what they are doing back home it was great, but I also agree with the ones saying that this is a coalition of action. We need to make sure that we are doing actions and not only talking. So one of the things that I'm concerned of is that we have to transform all the things that ministers are saying into more action-oriented things. That is a challenge for our secretariat, and I know you're ready to take on. My last point was, um, uh, not last, but one of the last points is, uh, uh, the, I think some, some, the challenge from BSR. Uh, being a government representative myself, uh, I, I agree with Canada. We are, not, we are not anymore these very conservative, reluctant people that we don't want to work with the private sector. And I think one of the reasons for that is that the private sector has uh, actually showed the way uh, lately. I think that is what's going on here also with negotiations. You see private sector actually pushing. And if we as governments do not deliver a, 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 an agreement here in Paris, that would be an enormous setback because private sector is wanting to do something. And there are a lot of people here in this room that wants to work and contribute together with the private sector. So I think you should have another way of thinking of this. We will do what you need and we will transform our science into what is needed for private sector. So let me end by saying that we adopted yesterday or we launched yesterday the coalition's five-year strategic plan. We adopted the communique, the Paris communique. And we as a coalition is now showing the way uh, for what we can do specifically pre-2020. These five years to come is extremely important. Science has, shows, has, showed, has, has told us we need to reduce both CO2 and SLCPs, otherwise we can just uh, uh, look far away for the two degree target. So we will do our share and I'm looking forward to work with all of you and I hope you will look forward to work with the coalition. Thank you so much.